everyone. I just want to take a minute to go over some of the different restraints that I use and the different uh, table variations that you could have at home. This is a professional grooming table. Um, it's actually hydraulic. So you can kind of um, you know, step on it to pump it up. These come in lots of variations. They are super pricey. So I would suggest this if you have a lot of dogs that you want to groom or a lot of super heavy dogs. But what you'll most likely use is something like this. This is just a fold-up table, um, and this actually can hold a very large dog. I have had 100-pound dogs on these before, and you can also buy them very, very small. But this is probably what you're going to be using at home. It's just a, a standard little fold-up table. You can also just use uh, your kitchen table or another table that you have at home, and you can buy one of these bars. This bar actually just clamps onto this table. It was purchased separately from the table. This comes in two variations. You can get the bar that goes over the entire table, and you can also get a bar that goes just halfway the table, and that's called a grooming arm. And they come with the clamps, and you can actually put these bars on any table that you have at home. They're completely expandable and adjustable, so I do always recommend an investing one of that. They're not very pricey, and it will definitely help you keep your dog still while you're grooming. And then the restraints that I use, um, I actually just went to the hardware store and bought several different pieces of chain link of different sizes. And the bars come with these little hooks. And you just hook it right on. The reason that I like the chain is that um, you can actually adjust it, obviously, you know, to about an inch shorter or higher. And you have your grooming loop. You put it around your dog's neck. And I like the chain link because, of course, you can adjust the height of it very easily. And this is just another variation of the uh, grooming loop or a uh, noose. They come in different sizes, different styles. Any of them really are going to work just fine. It just depends on how big your dog is and um, what, what you like to use. This one has a little ring that slides pretty easily. And this one has actually a clip that will hold it in place really just depends on personal preference what works best for you. Now in addition to that I will also recommend if you have the whole overhead bar to get a uh, stomach strap so that you can hold the dog's hips in place to keep them from walking off the table. This actually happens to be just an old luggage strap that I had. Works really well. It has clips on both sides and it's actually adjustable so I can make it shorter or longer if I need to. Now you just clip that on, put it around the dog's stomach, flip it on the other side. You can also put your chain link up and hook it if you need it um, to be closer to, to the ground. And that really just prevents the dog from walking off of the table. 